Capricorn, hi. So this is going to be a reading for the month of September 2022. And I'll do the reading for you and then I'll close it off with a oracle card. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended at the end of the... Uh, at the end of the reading, you can check out all the info about that in the description box below if you want. My hands are slippery. I don't know why. Cars are slippery, my hands are slippery. That doesn't make for a good combo. <clears throat> I don't know what's going on. Anyways, uh, let's see, Kathy. Okay, the overall energy for the reading, the lovers. <clears throat> There's a whole lot of pointers in this reading towards uh, um, another energy attached to you, uh, which could be the case. <clears throat> I'm not getting that much as in, yeah, you could have somebody right there by your side. I feel like it's... It has to do more with you than with this connection that's shown up, but it is shown up. So I don't know, maybe we'll see. I suspect a change within you that brings a change within possibly a, uh, an important connection to you, if there's any at this time. But let's see, starting off the reading, the King of Swords crossed by the Wheel of Fortune. That's where I see the change big time in your confidence, in the way you... Uh, show up more determined, more knowledgeable. There's growth there to, to the extent of, you know what, maybe two months ago, um, I was not really going after what I wanted as much or, you know, things like that. And then something happened here where I, I sense a growth, a boost in your confidence, especially. And then it's it's actually shown up as a change where you can actually see that happening uh, if you took a step back and looked at how you are now versus, you know, a little bit before. So this is a good change for you. Uh, in your focus, the Ten of Pentacles, a sense of stability, creating your empire, your Cappy empire there. That's where your focus is at. In the recent past, love. Huh. Possible love, possible coming together with one person in particular or with many. It could be talking about friends, family, you know, surrounding yourself with love. I don't know. In your strength there, you got the Ten of Swords. That's an interesting energy to carry there. You're almost showing me a sense of no matter what happens, I can always pick myself up and go kind of a thing. That's where it kind of goes back to your sense of confidence where it grew. Um, so it's quite interesting. In the immediate future, the strength card. Hmm. Something... I see this more as a challenge coming in, but it's not something big. Something that might... Oh my god, you know, it's taken a, a lot away from you. I see it as... A little, a little bit of a downer situation, whatever it is. But I don't see it staying for too long. Like coming in to show you, oh, life is so difficult and then going away, you know. But it doesn't affect you to that sense where you actually feel like life sucks kind of a thing. So I don't know what that is. We'll see. Um, yeah, supporting this reading. A sense of commitment here with the, with the four of wands. What is this? And why am I not getting the focus on them even though it's showing up here i told you it keeps on popping up as another person but it, the focus to me the way i see it is not on them or this connection necessarily it's you possibly through this connection um in the energy that surrounds you and you may not be aware of it the king of pentacles you're doing good there's a certain aspect of your life, if you were split into two, um, this part of your life being uh, your sense of stability and this part of your life being 
love. Uh, here, you got yourself covered. I'm not sure if you're 100% aware of that, but it, to me, it shows up as this part here, it's doing great. This part here is not doing bad either. It's just there's some work to be done here and there, probably, you know? Uh, not to say that you gotta stop working on this part, but you're doing pretty good, you know, better possibly than you acknowledge. Uh, in your hopes and fears, Juno, no, Juno's not in your hopes and fears, but she's in Oscars. Why, why do you have to play with this tail? Out of all tails in this house. In your hopes and fears, the Queen of Wands. Uh, this... This is a charming kind of an energy. This is an attractive kind of an energy. Maybe you are starting to show up more in that. I don't know. In the potential outcome, the seven of wands. Why is there a loud blue jay around? That usually might mean that there's a hawk or something close by. Um, seven of wands, a little bit of rejection here on your side over something. Let's, let's figure things out here. Let's clarify. Let me clarify the lovers. The four of pentacles, the moon, the hermit. I don't see this as being you. Maybe that's why it's not showing up as it's in your focus. Could be somebody else's energy attached to yours. Um, there is an energy here that refuses to let go of a connection. Uh, what they're not revealing to you, if it's somebody else, is the fact that they've gone through a lot of healing. Um, I see this as an energy holding on to you. That's the thing. An energy from your past. They're here in the Three of Cups of the past. So, uh, I have no idea how that's going to show up in the physical. It might not show up at all. It's just their energy is really there. There you are, there they are for some reason. It could show up in the physical, but very light. Like, mm. Mm. I don't know. I just see a lot of healing there that's not being shown. So it's not revealed for sure. Let's do the King of Swords. Oh, look at this Corley. Sunbathing. For the King of Swords, you get the Three of Pentacles, the Judgment card, the Page of Wands. There's a partnership that shows up here. It could be tied up to work. It could even be a friendship. Um, I feel like things are good here. There's definitely a sense of... Um, like knowing, truly knowing that everything's fine. Uh, and you also kind of are showing me a sense of curiosity over it, like keeping yourself open. So there's, I don't know why it's showing up, but it's showing up as something beneficial to you for sure at this time. Let's see the Wheel of Fortune. Four of Swords, Knight of Pentacles, Wheel of Fortune. Huh. It, it almost feels like with this partnership or whatever you have here, which I don't feel like it's this. I feel like it's something else. Um, I feel like things are okay, things are fine, and then all of a sudden there's, there's something going on. There's almost like a disconnect. And then it's like... The way it's shown up here, the energy is like, give it time. Take it one day at a time. Don't rush anything. Because I see this full-on good energy tied up to whatever this is. And then kind of like a little bit of frustration over it or something that disconnects you from what it truly is. And then it's like, give it some time, you know? I don't know what this is. Again, I don't see it tied up to this for now. I see it more tied up to your... Mm, possibly work here. Possibly friendship, you know. Not this one. 
This one is showing up. I don't know why. For the Ten of Pentacles, in your focus, you get the Two of Wands, the Death card, the Devil. You want instant gratification. That's the problem here. Because you're working towards something quite stable for you. But if you don't have that stable, it's like you're not going to wait for it. But, you know, yeah, I'm working for this thing. But I want it here now. Like, So that gives me a sense of instant gratification. And then comes a little bit of a something that looks like a pattern for you you know you you just cut it off because it's like well i'm not gonna wait but it is working and it is leading you towards there and you know that and with knowing all of that you still kind of you know this this pattern still comes through to chop it all off to be like no it's not gonna happen because you know uh, i gotta wait for too long something like that doesn't have to be necessarily that let me do that three of cups two of cups seven of pentacles ace of swords yeah it was something that at some point was functional in love this situation here whoever's energy is attached to you it was something that at some point did work out there's love here there's let's build together and then there's energy being put together in this situation um so I see it as something quite far in your past. I don't see it necessarily as, you know, your last relationship or you see it something like down the road and their energy for some reason is attached to you at this time. Um, let's do the Ten of Swords in the Strength. Five of Wands, King of Cups, Queen of Pentacles. So, interesting. I kind of get the sense that this is all tied up to this pattern where you're showing me a sense of defeat and then you're showing me you fighting with this energy that you carry. Uh, so the sense of defeat, I find it back in here. And I'm not going to wait. You know, I need instant gratification. So if that doesn't come, I'll just close things off and I'll move on. And that's that. And that's that sense of defeat that's shown up in your strength. And I see you fighting with that energy. So you're showing me a sense of, you know what? This time around, I'm going to do it different. Where you're keeping your heart open. And there's definitely a sense of um, kind of feeling your way through it. Rather than allowing your mind to repeat the same patterns. Which is interesting that you're doing that. Huh. Let's do the strength card in the immediate future. Eight of Wands, the Hangman, the Seven of Wands. Wow, oh, okay. There could be a disagreement here at some point. I do see a conversation of some sort, and then I see a stagnant kind of an energy attached to it. So let's say I'm talking to you, and you, instead of replying to me, you just kind of sit there and you're like, can you give me some time? You know, kind of a thing. Uh, because there's something in this conversation that I see you're not agreeing with. You know, being like, mm, mm. And instead of just kind of responding to it from that, oh, what? No, fuck off. No, that's not you know, or getting agitated about it, I see you kind of pulling back and being like, give me a minute. Um, it could be a conversation. There's definitely an energy exchange here. So, hmm. I, I kind of like this energy because it does take a lot for you to, to just kind of ask for a minute rather than responding immediately from that place of, I don't like this, go away, you know, kind of a thing. Um, so it's a good energy there. Let's do the Four of Wands for the supportive energies. The wee, wee, wee. Well, the Knight of Swords, the Three of Cups, the Queen of Cups. Whoever this is and this and this apparently, um, that's why they're attached to your energy because they are heading your way if they're not even already here um, with the way this energy is showing up. They want to, at least. So... I don't know. The love aspect thing, that other half of 
the love situation. At least the love that's being brought towards you feels good. Uh, I don't know who this is though. I don't know where things are here. I just see these, this energy being brought towards you more than you participating directly in it. Now you could start participating in it, but I see it more as something being formed, poof, delivered to you. Let's do the King of Pentacles in your hidden energies. Seven of Swords, King of Pentacles, again, Two of Swords. You don't give yourself credit here, Cappy. You know, you keep on not seeing your worth, especially tied up to what it is that you built as part of your empire, your life. Um, you keep on walking away from this energy. You keep on seeing it, knowing it's there, but not acknowledging it. You know, that sense of self-acknowledgement in what it is you accomplished. Um, first you walk away and then you start really kind of stressing out about things. And then that leaves you really further than, even further than acknowledging what you achieved, who you are and things like that. You keep on abandoning yourself here. Um, you know, giving yourself that credit. Queen of Wands in your hopes and fears, Five of Swords, Four of Cups, Eight of Swords. This is an energy, this is one of those. You're kind of uh, walking away from all patterns here. I see you doing that and there's, <laughs> there's, I mean, it doesn't feel good at times, but there's definitely a sense of not even necessarily acknowledging that 100%, but seeing that at times. Um, where you're showing me an idea of, you know what, doesn't matter. I got things a lot of times with my charm, with my, you know, where you counted on all sorts of physical things rather than knowing inside of you that you got it. And this is a definitely a battle between what you gained for yourself in terms of your own growth, your own healing, where you're at at this time with that, and how you used to do things. And you're looking at this energy of, yeah, I'm charming anyway. I can get away with things. And figuring out that, yeah, no, it's not about that anymore. You know, we're, we're not cute anymore. Um, doesn't work. Maybe it didn't before either. But right now you're looking at this with a sense of disappointment. Like, really? I used to do that? Uh, yeah, I did. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't work anymore. Because you're seeing the deception in that. Because it's something from the surface. It's not something that's yours inside of you. That's really you. But you still kind of walk away from that inside of you at times. You know? So it's kind of like trying to establish where you stand outside of yourself more, inside of yourself more. There's a little bit of a con confusion for both aspects, actually. So that tells me that there's a transitional phase for you going on. Where are you going to go with that surface, Cappy? Or are you going to start recognizing the Cappy Cappy? You know, let's do the seven of wands. In the potential outcome, the tower, the four of was the Ace of Cups. Okay, now I see your participation in this situation that's coming your way. Um, well, first of all, it's showing up as surprise, you know. Uh, and then you're showing up as your in instinctual response to it is nope. Nope. Now, I don't know if that's going to change. That's that you're showing me like that very first instinct to it. Um, but for now, it's showing as Nope. Let's see. Let's see what the universe has to close it off. Four of Cups, Knight of Swords, Page of Swords. Yeah. I see this Knight of Cups and Knight of Swords attached to this energy that's coming your way, the one from the past that you kind of look at and you're like, oh, nope. Uh, and I see them either picking up on that or, you know, actually getting to that point of having to hear you say no. Um, and then I see them backing off a little bit. So I don't see this energy being persistent much. 
I kind of get a sense that it's meeting your resistant energy before they even reach you, but I don't know. I could be wrong. Let's uh, close it off with the uh, Oracle of the Fairies. Okay, come together. Fairies like to be busy and a group of them is showing you that many hands make light, light work. <clears throat> Working as a team helps get the job done. Interesting. Kind of see this applying more to the beginning of your reading, but um, that's it. That's what I have for you. Hope this helped, and I'll see you next time.